boom. Christmas and the snow's coming down. Christmas. Okay, Christ Christmas. Ah. Right, sit in so I can get some focus. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Val Dunican special. I oh, know. Well, that's what we're <laughs> going for, though, isn't it? Christmas special. Merry Christmas. Merry everyone. Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays. But here at the Dirty Shed, we don't go in for happy holidays. We want to ram Christmas right down your throat. <laughs> Looks like Christmas has taken a dump in here. <laughs> Look. We've got a string of lights. Took now, ages to put this up. Yeah, we didn't even well, we tried about three different locations, and this is what this is what you're gonna get. And there's some candles about the place. And it's and cold again. Look at all this. It's very cold, yeah. And look what we're doing. What else is there to do at Christmas <laughs> on a Monday afternoon, Yay! eh? But, you know. You are both of those. I'm holding them. Okay, guys. Yeah, well, you know, it's Christmas, so we're going to enjoy a little port as we do this one. Some fortified wine. Yeah. Ooh, Christmassy. Uh, we have, I mean, in a way, in a way it's kind of, well, okay. Should we try that again? Do you want to? Yeah. Whoa! Dirty Shed Creations coming at you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uncle Al. Camera boy. Hello. Hello. Merry uh, Christmas, Christmas, everyone. Hello. Uh, well, let's start the festivities, eh, Uncle Mark? Uh, tell me when. Oh, when? <laughs> it's a big one. There you go. <sighs> Lovely. Cheers, Chief. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone. everyone. Cheers. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It's a little bit of a burn, Ooh, that. That's a good one. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so, right. well, Christmas special. Mm. I think we should start by saying a couple of thank yous. Yeah, I think that would be really good. Because there's more of you than there was before. There's like another 50. <gasps> there's another 50 special people, I call yeah, them. Yeah, and we have to thank Jay's Custom Creations for sending them our way. Yeah, indeed. He's been a big supporter, actually, from the beginning. From the very beginning, yeah, he's helped us fact, out. And, um, He's a good man. He's, He's a good, good woodworking man. Cheers, Jay. Thank Cheers, you very Jay. much. From a from across the pond, our thanks and best wishes for Christmas. Yes. Cheers. Thank you. Generally. Maybe we should explain where Tammy is. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, that's... because yeah, Tammy's not been very well. She's um, had pneumonia, so she's been a sickly child for quite a while now. So we're quite worried about her actually, aren't we? Hey, Dirty Shed subscribers. Yep. I look ill, so please close your eyes and imagine that I just look way better than this. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy 2019. Cheers! Ooh! Yeah, I was thinking that was going to be Bailey's. Ugh. Yeah, she can't be a part of it, uh, this today. She's got severe FOMO. Um, she thinks she's missing out when mm -hmm. she ain't missing out. She's not missing out on much. I mean, this is a filthy little shit hole we've got here, isn't it? And uh, We've tried to Christmas it up, but there's only so far you can go in a stinking, rotting shed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, um, she'll be back in the new year, but if you want to send some... Uh, wishes. Best wishes, because I know some of you out there are... Like the Tammy. Yeah, She gets yeah. a lot of... Uh, well... Was a correspondence, lot of correspondence, we, yeah. specific correspondence of a Very specific, specific nature. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but it's all good natured, and we like it. So yeah, keep it yeah, coming. Exactly. But she'll be back, and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas In from the new Tammy year. and to Tammy. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Tammy. Cheers. I'm gonna have a big slurp of this. Yeah, let's do this in her honour. Mm. Anyway, uh, back to our Dirty Shed Christmas special. So, we haven't really put a lot of thought into this. The idea is that we're uh, just going to... Excuse me, madam. Oh. I think we have actually <laughs> oh, put... Oh, yeah, on, yeah. yeah but, loads of thought. <laughs> well, and some candles and a cracker. <laughs> There's a bloody cracker here, for God's sake. Uh, and our stupid Christmas jumpers. Oh, that, that's the big finale the that's just hit the ground. <laughs> yeah. Um, just wait till that guy blows up. Yeah, so, um, this we wanted to get something out for the end of the year because um, stuff's just been really hectic recently. Very um, busy. 
trying to find time to get stuff done so that we can put consistent content out is it's a challenge but we wanted to get a proper Christmas message out there and just like let you know what's coming in 2019 so yeah. what should we do should we do ghosts of Christmas past present and future how do you think we're going to do that? Well, we can talk about the past, the present and the future. Oh, okay, yeah. Because I, I was thinking... It's Dickens oh. theme. Yeah, ah, yeah. I was thinking, actually, you know, in a manner of speaking, um, our YouTube subscribers are kind of like, in a way, it would be very rude to have gone through Christmas without actually doing some sort of Christmas special. Because I suppose if we... And we have, actually, we've had some... You know, it's strange bumping into people who've kind of, oh, I've watched your channel, and it's like, oh my word, this is quite weird. We've had one or two of those so far. I um, haven't. Well, you're the only one that hasn't, actually. <laughs> but you're usually behind the camera, I suppose. But Tammy has. Tammy's had a couple. Yeah. And I think it would be a bit rude if we... Um, we just ignored Christmas. you. Yeah, we just ignored you for Christmas. So, and obviously, uh, Dirty Shed is all about kind of political messages. And I think, you know, we should really get a political message across for Christmas. A political message? Yeah, that's not what we're about. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I was just rambling. Yeah, <laughs> this is what he does best, and this is loosening mm -hmm. up the gears. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. So, should we talk about recent projects? Recent projects. So, what would they be? They would be the well, the coat rack. The coat rack. Yeah, that was very well received. Again, that was a big help with J uh, J Custom yeah. Creations. Um, we, I mean, I I really love doing that project, and I think that's something that you know in a way it kind of grew out of the throne um so it's nice that it's got that link and there's that consistency there and sort of building on your style isn't it yeah i think we're developing a style which um you know as probably unsaleable as that style is we're we're kind of enjoying what, what are we going to call your style well freestyle I, it I, I, I mean it, i think it's harking back to old country carpentry where you might have got someone in a, a small village to make you something and that would have been a collaboration you know all the iron work on there or all the you know steel work on there would have been made by the local village blacksmith and the woodwork would have been done by the local village joiner or carpenter or whatever. And you are both of he. Yeah, exactly. And in you know the year 2018, isn't it nice to try and run a business like they did in 1901? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's going to work. <laughs> uh, so, um, past projects, what else have we done? I can't even remember. Oh, we've got the Trace Hook film that's almost ready. So that will come out before this one. So it'll have been out now. And uh, so again, it's another heavy meaty makers like we're yeah, getting yeah, into yeah. the guts of making stuff it's uh yeah well it feels slightly different from what we've done previous yeah yeah it's going to be nice that one because that's kind of like a pure blacksmithing one really isn't it yeah and i mean you know again i apologize to all the blacksmiths out there who'll be watching that film and you know pointing out all the mistakes i've made but you know i look forward to that in a way because I made some stuff. Yeah, exactly. And you know, and that's what we both found with YouTube that you know it is this incredible library of skills. Um, you know, pretty much anything you're into, any hobby you're into, you only really augment it by going onto YouTube. And I think, in a way, maybe what we're doing is kind of a little nod to that. What um, do men do in their sheds? Well, you've got the answer. Just watch all our films, and it'll tell you. There's <laughs> nothing dirty in that. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> So what's coming up? What's the next project we're going to do? I mentioned to you that I'm looking forward to. Oh, what? Breaking into the safe. Ah, yeah. Well, that's going to be... We're going to do that as like a different vibe, aren't we? We're going to set ourselves a challenge and then we're going to kind of... Basically, the challenge is going to be we've got a... Oh, probably a 100, 150-year-old safe and we're going to try and pick the lock to it. Um, and for, Where did you get it? Uh, bought it at auction. There was no key with it. Um, the door is locked. Oh, God, sorry, excuse me. Ooh, that's bouncing around already. Uh, yeah, uh, we bought it at auction. The door was locked. Uh, it cost £40, 40 pounds, which is probably about... Well, actually, now, apparently, we're at parity with the dollar, aren't we? So it's Ooh, about yeah. $40. We're in trouble. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a Milne's fireproof safe. So, so yeah, we're going to try and hack into it, yeah. break into it, and then if we can't do that, we're just going to probably blow it up and yeah, just plasma like, cut ah, plasma get cut in it. there and yeah because there's some stuff in there as well isn't there we do yeah i mean let's not get excited it's not going to be diamonds and gold and stuff but, but you it's know, unknown it's yeah there's apparently there's some documents in it someone said 
Cool. But there is something in it because someone said they'd shake, shaken it about and they could hear something moving. But those old safes usually have drawers in them, so maybe it's just the drawer banging against the front. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to, you know, look, we're going to set ourselves a day, we're going to film, and it's just going to come out as a light, you know, breaking into a safe. Uh, but we are going to try it delicately first, and yeah. then we're going to get more and more aggressive as we go on and probably get more and more frustrated. Yeah. So, yeah, that should be quite interesting. Power tools and stuff yeah. will come out. And the other project, which yeah. you mentioned, and I don't know whether you were kidding, but you wrote Man Trap, but I'm going to say Bear Trap. Mm. Can we make a bear trap? Well, I think we can, and I think that'll be a, again. That's going to be a pure fabrication and yeah. metal working from scratch. Project. Yeah, from scratch. We might try and you know, um, we might try. Yeah, we're going to try. You have and any make... thoughts about how you're going to do it? Well, we have. Um, I've got hung up on the wall over there what we used to call in this country a gin trap. Um, I suppose I really should go and get that, shouldn't I? Okay. So this is the style of thing. I don't know if you can really see it, but I mean, essentially, I'm not going to set it, but, oh, I suppose I should really, I should pull that. So it's got a spring and, you know, the, the, the jaws, jaws and stuff. And then there's a pressure there's, pad, is Yeah, it? there's a little pressure pad that you set there and then it's like you would put whatever you would put on there. So if um, we were to do a bear man trap, would we do a great big one? Well, we're going to make a bigger one, yeah, so, but we might, uh, yeah, we're going to make a bigger one, but we'll probably be using this little guy as a pattern, so it'll give us an idea of how they work. So yeah, so that's a little project we thought of that we'll, uh, again, a pure, pure kind of uh, metal working project. Yeah. Uh, and that, actually, I'm going to set that in the shed at, oh no, better not say that. I was going to leave it in the doorway of the shed in case a burglar comes in because the f is going to chop his leg off. <laughs> no, we can't do that. No, you might go. No, I'm not going to suggest I would do that. No. So, it's <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we've, we've kind of like, did I get anything on the lens? Yeah, so we've had a couple of comments in the comment section from people that have sort of... Uh, Push this in a direction that we think we can create a new strand for our films. Um, the first one was from JD Works, who was saying he thinks we might have broken Popwood Playback. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. You know, I... Because it's been a bit quiet because JD thinks that we set the bar too high for people. So, there's two things about this. Firstly, we did aim to set the bar very high because, well, that's what I... Do. I'm a filmmaker, I'll make stuff, so we've got a slight head start in most people, but that shouldn't stop other people from trying to make stuff. And what I would suggest is, if you're into woodwork, and you like watching woodwork channels, and you like making stuff, then why don't you ask one of your mates to just come and film it? Like, just for an afternoon, and see what happens. And just do it once, and see what happens. Because I couldn't imagine doing a YouTube channel on my own. Like, doing the work, filming it and then cutting it and like getting it all out and doing it all on your own that must be very lonely yeah we yeah, kind yeah. of split the responsibility our side is all this stuff here this all the and crud. my part is making the films off the back of that so yeah. if you you must know someone a nephew your son your dad anyone daughter wife who knows how to use a camera just get them in and say, film me making this and we'll have a laugh and, yeah. you know, get the port out and have get a Get the port out, particularly <laughs> yeah. if it's a, a, fe a festive time of year. Exactly. You know, maybe don't start now because we've just had Christmas. Maybe Easter is something that you should be heading for. Yeah. Right, <laughs> no, we've just I mean, tangented there. Yeah. My other point is, we're going to do a similar thing to Potwood, I think. We're going to launch that today because... What? Another comment from uh, one of our new subscribers, Charles Arnold. He has sent in a message saying about Charles the... Charles Arnold. 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 Who the feck's Arnold? Charles, he said, you're epoxy. Oh, yes. You're, you're oh. wasting money. Well, you're I'm like, gonna... oh, I'm saving money, only one ninety nine, And he's like, uh, Rag and Bone Brown is getting it for a quid. Bloody no, Poundland. Um, yeah, I did read that comment actually, and I'm going to be checking out Poundland. In fact, actually, you know, I seem to think that I've, I haven't been in there for like a, a few months, but I seem to think that I have seen those. In fact, yeah. he might, he might have really, you know, 
colored some of that so yeah you, uh, thanks very much for that i mean you know that's one of the pleasures that this isn't it the kind of comments we get and you know everyone's support and we are such a fledgling little channel and that's what um, we want to build in a little bit more yeah. we want you guys to start sending us stuff that you like mm. let us know about it we want to know about it because that uh rag and bone brown tip was really good because then i went and watched some of his stuff and he makes some cool stuff. He's got a cool little intro to his channel. And he does a Q&A thing as well. And I watched one of those and he had a really cool tip that in his new workshop that he's built, yeah. he's got an Amazon Alexa and oh, yeah. he's got one of those interactive plug things and he's got his compressor and his extractor working off Alexa. I don't use the air compressor very often anymore as now I use cordless battery operated nailers. So I don't really want to leave it switched on all the time and I can't always be bothered to open up the shed extension to unplug it or plug it in. So now I can say, Alexa, turn compressor on. Sorry, I didn't find a device named compressor. Device offline. Why? So he's just like, uh, Alexa, uh, turn on the compressor. It's just like, yes, that's a, oh that's a good God. tip. That's bloody brilliant. So we're building our work, new well, workshop. Well, yeah, 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 new year. At, at yeah, Alps, yeah. in the new year. We're gonna. I'm gonna at get a you secret a, location. Yeah, yeah. You haven't okay, seen it. Um, yeah. So um, yeah, we're gonna get you an Alexa in there, and you can be just like sat there doing. Well, we are going. Gonna... Alexa, turn that on. That would be bloody amazing. And it plays Alexa, music. make a table. <laughs> yeah. You know, one day hopefully it'll be that. exactly. Yeah. No. Brilliant. Your little tips and tricks. Superb. Yeah. So and send of course us stuff. Yeah. yeah. Anything that you like. It doesn't even have to be just woodworking. Yeah. It could be anything that's being made, anything creative, anything at all. Send it to us and we'll have a look and we might mention it and we'll give you a shout out. Mm -hmm. So all you people out there who have been with us from the beginning, Swert, Ronna, Brian, Sergi, Sparky, you know, you Hendry. send us. Yeah. M.M. MM Hendry. M.M. Hendry. Shiver Me Timbers. Ah, all these shiver people. Me timbers. Send yeah, us links send us your stuff, of, that you like and then we'll do a little shout out to you and we'll highlight what the creator's doing and it'll just, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good to see what people are doing because we can learn stuff and that's what YouTube's about, I think. Yeah. Learning yeah, some yeah. I'm empty. Oh, crap. I'm empty. Oh, hang on. Come on, Christmas me. Oh, so... <sighs> Oh, ruby goodness. Ruby goodness. Ah. That's not going to last very long at oh. all, is it? We just okay. destroyed that. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Just sing if you want to. Feliz Navidad to you. What does that mean? I think it means Merry Christmas. Oh, right. Okay. Spanish. Fantastic. Yeah. Feliz Navidad, Prospero, Ano y Felicidad. One little thing that we are going to launch in 2019 is... Dirty Shed Rapper's Jewelry. Oh, this is new to me. Oh yeah, oh, look. Oh yeah. Look at that. Coming coming at you. So you imagine get your own and show oh, that yeah. to the audience. Oh, look, this, ah. we're making chains, man. Let's have a look. That's not gonna focus. Hold on one second. Oh. Yeah. So rapper's jewelry. Yeah. yeah. I'm a rapper. Bust I us sing. out a rap, Al. I'm a rapper. I sing about the crapper. No. I'm a rapper. Are you East Coast or West Coast? Uh, well, I'm actually East Coast, I suppose. Bridlington, yeah. Bridlington Massive. Yeah, yeah. So rap jewelry. And of course it's gonna be very expensive and very exclusive. Get yours now, 2,000 pounds. 2,000? 2,000 pounds, it's That's cheap. a bargain, sit down, I yeah, can't okay. see your face. Okay, cool. I'll just keep this on, shall I? Yeah, cool. you, you look okay. boss. Yeah, boss. Boss man, scrubs. It's been a very interesting year. It's been very a, interesting year. It's been a great year. Yeah. I, um, and I hope for all of you, 2019 is uh, equally as good. Because, yeah. yeah, it's a changing world and this YouTube thing is rather interesting, isn't it? Even though mm. we are 40 years old plus and uh, we might be too old for it. Yeah. We're enjoying it. It's good, isn't it? It's, it's really good. And, you know, I mean, the thing is, is that what... What I really like about it is it's real people with kind of, you know, telling their own stories and, you know, and it's, you know, the driving forces behind it are kind of like, you know, honesty, integrity and all of these things that, you know, we we hear so often in the world around us, you know, you sit in these kind of 
bullshit meetings where it's like, you know, oh my god, we've got to be so honest and, you know, we've got to challenge contemporary fucking thought. And it's just words. Are you talking words. about something in particular? No, it's just <laughs> words. But I do think that what one of our driving forces is that honesty and, you know, you're just, in a way, I'm not saying you're just along for the ride, but, you know, you're along for the ride and, you know, it's going to be warts and all. Camera by. So let's return to stuff that looks like balls. Um, <laughs> and what did you say to me the other day? <laughs> All my joinery looks like balls. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Well, it's good to have a vocal critic in your ear. <laughs> yeah, to really drive you forth. Um, yeah. Just a bit of silliness, that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really. But you know, I mean, Jamie Bevan, that image on Instagram, which I'll show oh, now. Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> that was, I mean, that's genius, but that's the kind of, you know, the bar, again, you know, with he the smashed bar, that competition. Yeah. Oh, yeah, to be fair, <laughs> you know. Stuff uh, that looks like. Balls. Do we know Do we know him? Or? Yeah, we know him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's a. Uh, He's a good man. He's a good man. He's a good creative singing man. Oh, is he a singing man? He's a singing man like you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, bust us out something Christmassy. Uh, ding a ling a ling. Uh, sleigh bells ring. Are you listening to the thing that is glistening? And it's glistening and spinning and turning around. Uh, 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 Christmas wonder time. <laughs> that was beautiful. I know. Very, very I'm good. I'm doing deep stairs. My God, look at yeah. all their beautiful eyes. Yeah, look at them look in at there. Look at At least we're looking down the lenses. I know. Well, you know, there's a, <laughs> I mean, you know, you're uh, over there. I'm normally like... Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> honey, what are you doing there? Yeah, don't include that. Why not? Honey, <laughs> yeah, we're here talking about stuff. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I suppose one thing to do. What are you doing for Christmas, Mark? Oh, hopefully okay. having some time. Uh, well, I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> We've got through that. Look, there's only that little bit it's in the just, bottom. It's I don't just know. pop. I, you know, it's a delicious brute brew. I do like this time of year. I drink a lot of port. Yeah. So I do. Yeah. Um... What are we doing? What are you doing? Well, yeah, no, let me ask again without okay. the okay. yeah. burpulence in my ear. Yeah, sorry, mate. So, Al, what are you doing for Christmas? Uh, we are having, usually, uh, you know, we're, we're just having, like, a really quiet one this year. It's just going to be me and my girlfriend, Jen. So, we're just going to kind of, like, we're just going to cook ourselves a nice little meal. We're doing Boxing Day, which is the day after Christmas in England. Ruin my stomach. It's just like boing, 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 boing. It's kind of quite an empty stomach, actually. Um, we're doing. Is it? <laughs> it's just like bouncing around, like bouncy, bouncy. Having such, such a, a good, good time. time. Bouncy, bouncy. Uh, um, something all in a line. I spat then. Um, no, we're. we're um, this year it's just going to be a really quiet one. There's just myself, um, my girlfriend Jenny, and, and our little dog. spaniel Juniper. So um, maybe you could flash up of an image of Juniper now. Uh, yeah, and we're just having it on our own, and we're going to do Boxing Day, which is the 26th here in England. Yeah, so we're just hoping for a really quiet one. We're going to get the fire on, loads of food. I really want to hear about your intimate Christmas. What, yeah. What's that going on about? I don't know. What? Is it going to be touching? Large pack of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't include that. No, it's just for you, John. <laughs> I was sat on the toilet a couple of nights ago and I was just thinking about what an incredible year 2018 You were having a good think? Yeah, I was having a good think in a private location. On your own throne? On my own, <laughs> on a, a slightly different throne, but yeah. Um, and yeah, just thinking what an incredible year this has been. So, And, you know, actually, everything is looking really good for next year. Um, but just you know, keep going, eh? Yeah, exactly. We're just going to keep going. You know, you'll have to bear with us. You know, we, we set ourselves the most ridiculous task when we first started this to release two films a week and it's just unsustainable. You know, we're doing this in and around our kind of like working lives and, our, you know, and you have to earn a living. 
I'm not sin sitting here pleading poverty. I'm not sitting here pleading poverty. <laughs> Drunk not, on a Monday yeah. afternoon, yeah. He, he's all right, it'd be okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be fine. Uh, we're not, you know... Pleading we, poverty? We're not pleading poverty, it's, you know, we're, we're really enjoying doing this and we're really enjoying to kind of move it forward into the new year. And, you know, hopefully, you know, it's going to be interesting stuff. There's no point us... I don't think there's any point us sitting here and doing a film on, like, you know, how to you know how to fix a raw plug and hang a picture you know you, you're gonna find that from someone else you know um yeah we'd be bored by that well i don't yeah it's not it's not gonna bring out the best in us because you know like you say um i've kind of you know you've been making films a long time i've been doing joinery a long time and you know you know i can hang a picture in a couple of minutes and you know the way i do it's probably very different to a lot of other people and you know oh hell i'm you know you don't need to see me hanging a picture well, that was a that was an emotional killer. Oh, yeah. But we're always going to try and bring you something a little bit different, a little bit kind of unusual, a little bit with dirty shed stamp all over it. Yeah. Rapper jewelry. It's going to be rapper big. bling. <coughs> bling bling bling. Cool. Nice one. I think we're kind of getting there, aren't we, mate? I don't want to give you too much to edit here because I know how delicate you are about your editing. I know. Days. I mean, the plan was that I was just going to let this run and I was just going to put it out because, oh, to we'll be quite it. honest, I ain't got time to cut this before Christmas. I think you're going to have to pull out some swearing. I might bleep some swearing, but I think I'm going to play this out just in its entirety. Yeah, but what's that, 40 minutes of garbage? Oh. Well... Garbage or gold, Alistair? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys It's were in the eye watching. of the beholder, really. Well, yeah. No, I'll probably tidy it up. No, I think it needs a bit of tidying up. Oh! <laughs> he literally just spat all over my jacket. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. We're on camera, Alistair. This is a serious business. I know. And it's my rapping Sh name. D Ross. D Ross. D Ross. With my uh, Coming at rapper you. Bling. Oh, again, I'm going to repeat myself. Coming at you like a cooking spatula. M for Mark and A for Al. Yeah. Christmas. Don't be uncool, Al. No, I won't be. Should we get all this crap packed up and get to the pub then? <laughs> yeah. Back to the edit suite. Merry Christmas, everyone on YouTube. Merry Christmas. Who's going to win? One, two, three. Happy Christmas, Dirty Shed subscribers. Thank you for all your support so far. We love each and every one of you. Oh, so refreshing. So delightfully Christmas.